Here is the almost complete collection of the Katie stories. I say almost complete because while we do have all of the um, uh, art-related books, uh, we are missing the one on Scotland. Um, those are those are kind of kind of separate. Um, I wanted to focus on the on the art books today because they are fantastic and they're a great way of introducing anyone, to be honest, uh, but certainly uh, younger children to, um, to, to, to classic works of art. Um, I've also realized that there isn't really anywhere where you can find a comprehensive list of which work of art appears in which book. So if there was a particular one that you were hoping to, uh, to find, I'm gonna do a quick flick through here. Um, while I explain, yeah, pretty much uh, what's what's going on here. So the Katie books, for those of you who don't know, are uh, st stories, it's pretty much always the same story. Katie goes to an art gallery with her grandmother uh, who invariably falls asleep um, and, uh, and she uh, runs off into the art gallery and uh, jumps into famous works of art um, where she has adventures and uh, invariably it all goes horribly wrong until the very last moment uh, where everything goes right again and she says goodbye to the characters that she met in the stories it's all very 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 lovely and then there's a uh, there's always a get creative with Katie Page at the very end so that was uh, Katie and the Sunflowers uh, as continuing with the Van Gogh theme as Katie and the Starry Night uh, you saw in the previous one there was it's not exclusively Van Gogh there's there's some Gauguin there as well um, but yes we were at the uh, National Gallery in London um, uh, well last time we were there and um, <laughs> my son uh, was pointing to some of the uh, uh, some of the art that he recognised from these books, which was uh, which was fantastic. So it clearly works. Oop, sorry. There we go. What else do we have for the Mona Lisa? So it's um. Yeah, you get you get about five works of art per book. I think that's about right. Uh, so here, what do we get? We get Mona Lisa. Uh, we get Saint, Saint George and the Dragon by Raphael. Uh, the Primavera, Botticelli, which, by the way, my son loves so much that he asked to get a copy of it that's actually his request um, my son is is uh, is nine but he was seven when he made that request um, what else here we go um, it's the line of saint mark Capaccio. We go. Uh, the British artists. Who do we get? Ooh. Go, John Constable. Turner. There we 
go. Next, um, picture show. So I guess this is uh, a little bit miscellaneous. Easily recognizable entrance to the National Gallery. Constable. Mm, hang on. Very recognizable Renoir. Yes, and if ever there's a there's a child character that features in uh, in the illustration, then of course uh, Katie makes friends. So Malevich. Water Lily Pond. So this is um, in this one. She she's uh, trying to enter a competition um, at a Monet exhibition. Pond. There you go, and guess what? She wins the competition. Of course she does. It tells you how to draw your own. Katie and the Bathers. This is there's three three more. Again, this is quite um, National Gallery centred. Although I believe this one may be at the Met. In New York. Sorrow, Paul Signac. So, yeah, maybe maybe not all National Gallery. And then, of course, everything goes back to normal just in time for the warden to come, and the curator. Spanish princess, so maybe a slightly heavier emphasis on the Prado. Velasquez and his contemporaries. Yeah. 
And the last one is Katie and the Impressionists. This is actually um, brand new, just received this. Um, it's getting wrapped up for my son's birthday. I'm showing it to you in exclusivity. There we go, and that's it. That's the whole collection. I strongly recommend them. Um, strongly, strongly recommend them, uh, even if it's just one or two. Um, uh, they're, they're very, very well made, and yeah, my son regularly requests <laughs> these to be read to him uh, in, in the, uh, as, a, as a bedtime story. So yeah, it's, uh, it's very good. Okay, thanks ever so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you uh, have benefited in any way from the video and subscribe if you uh, would like to see more like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.